What's up, guys? I want to share with you my five top tips on how to become more confident. Stick around for some motivation and inspiration. Hey everyone, there's this misconception that some people are just born confident and it's absolutely nonsense. We are confident through the lessons that we get taught as we're growing up. We learn to be confident. Therefore, you can learn to be confident too. We can teach you how to be confident as you grow up and you can do it from right now moving forward. So I wanted to share with you my five top tips of how you can start to make yourself a little bit more confident. And eventually, if you follow them and you keep doing them, you'll become as confident as me. And I want to put in a warning here, guys. There is a very fine line between confidence and arrogance. Arrogance, to me, is where you start to belittle other people, or you think you're better than other people, or you just think, see yourself as being above, above other people. Let me tell you something. Nobody is better than anybody else. We are all equal human beings. Just that warning. Okay, so here goes. Number one, get rid of negativity from your life. We are surrounded by negative people and negative things that we work in environments that are negative ladies and gentlemen i want to tell you just to cut them out i am not saying that you have to ring up people or just block people completely you can do it over a period of time it's not something you have to do right now but you can gradually just feed these people out of your lives if they send you a message don't reply to it straight away if they get in touch with you don't get in touch with them back for a while. If they contact you on social media, take some time away from contacting them. Negative things as well can play an impact on our lives, like um, smoking, like drinking bad uh, drinks and eating bad food and doing things that are gonna inhibit our body, binging films and TVs and things like that. They just play a negative impact on our minds. Segregate these things. If you're going to have them, have them as a treat. Don't have them as a constant in your life because that will build negativity in your mind. Um, when it comes to work as well, guys, we can all get into environments that we're not happy, we're not happy with the job we've got. Hey, listen, we're not in a situation where we can't change these things. We can take responsibility for ourselves right now and we can go, right, do you know what? I'm making a conscious effort that I'm going to change my job. Do it, people, and put yourself in an environment where you're going to feel happier. I'm not saying quit your job. Just going to put that out there, guys. Take your time in investing in yourself to get the skills, maybe, to then move on. But don't quit your job straight away and put yourself into other difficulty. Okay, number two, physical exercise. Physical exercise, guys, does not have to be going out for a marathon run, jumping up and down and throwing yourself about, lifting weights and going to the gym. It can be as simple as going for a walk. It can be as simple as just walking up and down your stairs in your house a few times, doing some simple bodyweight exercises, but just do one thing a day because that one thing a day will release endorphins and dopamine into your body, which are two things which are going to make you feel epic. They're also there and they'll keep you motivated to do other things. Exercise is a great way to stimulate the brain, to stimulate the body. It makes you look good, which is going to make you feel good, which is going to give you more confidence. Number three, set achievable goals. Now, here's a funny one because I always say set three types of goals. Set something that's extreme because actually setting extreme goals gives you something to head for. And I like the fact that if you aim for those goals and you get halfway there, you've done a great job. So I like to set three sets of goals. So that's my first one. The second one I set is midterm goals. Things that I could achieve in probably one to two years. And I'm talking about financial aims or buying yourself something as a reward or physical fitness wise or family and relationship terms there's so much you can put into that category and then have some short-term goals which you can just tick off as you go along like clean the kitchen or fix a shelf or read a book all things that are achievable by you but do take a little bit of effort because the thing is once you start achieving these goals and you start ticking those boxes you get confident within yourself and you start to feel good about the fact that you're achieving these goals and it does exactly the same thing as physical exercise because you get endorphins and dopamine from them which means you get addicted to them because they're addictive substances that our body releases therefore we then become more addicted to setting goals and achieving goals and before you know it your midterm goals are getting done and then you get somewhere near or you will achieve your long-term goals think about it guys it's a really good way to, to do go about things tip number four 
Your appearance matters. I'm not talking about what you look like. Please, please do not think that because that is not the case. Crikey, I've got a Mohican and I wear hoodies and whatnot, okay? However, what I'm talking about is when you get up in the morning, don't just throw on some slacks. Have you ever had this experience? Have you ever like, got yourself dolled up for a night out? You've put your slap on, you've done your hair nice, you've put your favorite shirt on, you've got, or, or blokes wear, whatever, it doesn't matter. But you've made yourself feel really good by the way you look. How? Why can't you replicate that? Get yourself up and get your glad rags on and actually feel good about the way you appear. I promise you that by putting those clothes on, it will raise your endorphin and raise your dopamine levels and you're gonna feel really good about the way you feel and you're gonna be more confident. Think about it guys, it makes sense. And there's two things here that keep coming up, don't they? Number five, communication. Communication matters. The way we talk to ourselves, and I will repeat this and repeat this and repeat this because it's so important. The way we talk to ourselves is inherently the most important thing in the world. If we negatively drip feed ourselves, dismotivating confidence, um, nullifying information all the time, we're gonna to start to feel that way. What we need to do is talk to ourselves positively. Even if we don't believe it at first, we need to talk to ourselves positively. So when you look in the mirror, don't stay there and go, oh my life, look, what, oh, what am I looking like at the moment? Oh no, this is really bad. Look at yourself and go, and no matter what you think, say to yourself, hey, good looking, how are you doing? And just motivate yourself and talk to yourself. If something goes wrong, don't instantly go, oh, I always do this, or oh, it's me that always does things like this and whatever. Don't do that. Go, do you know what? It happens. I'm better than this and I can do better as we move forwards. Give yourself the proper communication because your subconscious is always listening and it believes what you say. So keep feeding yourself positive information. Pay compliments to yourself. How often have you ever done that? Walk past the mirror and go, hey, I look good. Do it, guys. Or when you achieve something, celebrate with yourself that you've achieved something. It is so important the way we communicate with ourselves. It's also important how other people communicate with us. Because if you're just getting negatively drip fed, all this like, oh, you don't look very nice. Oh, you're this, you can't do this, you can't do that. And that's what happens when we're kids. We end up believing these things and they become one of our limiting beliefs. So what we need to do is change that into a positive belief and start believing that we can achieve things. We do look good. We are feeling good. That, ladies and gentlemen, will build your confidence. Right, so that's my top five, guys. Just going to go through them very quickly. Eliminate negative people and things. Physical exercise. Get amongst it. Set achievable goals. Your appearance. Get up and get yourself dressed and looking smart. And five, communication matters. The way you talk to yourself. If you practice those and start to implement them into your life, you are going to start to feel much more confident. There is a range of other things you can do, but they are my top five, guys. So remember this. Be daring, be you, be all you can be. Be the person who straightens the back, walks a bit happier because they're paying attention to the, what they're doing and the way they look. Because you, my friends, are amazing and you can be as confident as you want to be. Till next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on that video. I really hope you got something from it. As always, if you would like to subscribe, like, share, press the bell, I'd really appreciate it because actually you, get, you won't miss out on anything else that we do and you might pick something up. Genuinely, if you got something from it, I'd really appreciate a comment because that's what keeps me going and I've had a few recently and they really do inspire me to do more of these things. Anyway, look forward to seeing you next time. Remember that you are amazing, you always will be and it's all in here. See you later.